Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh My beloved brothers and sisters We thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala For blessing us and keeping us Alive up to this day We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala To continue to bless us And open our doors to grant us Goodness in this world and the next Beloved brothers and sisters, a beautiful afternoon here in Nigeria. We thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There's one thing, one reminder I have for us, beloved brothers and sisters. Um, we live in different places across the globe. And we live in different communities. We, we meet different people that belong to different tribes and belong to, you know, uh, different cultures and different, almost different everything. So what duty do we have as Muslimin and Muslimat towards the brothers and sisters that Allah has made together with us on the earth? How do we live with them and how do we do our things with them? Meaning, what kind of relationship should we have with them one point beloved brothers and sisters is the heart we have as much as we know that there are people that are not very good perhaps in terms of their character and conduct or in terms of how they relate with others but we still thank Allah so one thing is I would want to say it would be good for a Muslim if he makes it a habit for him or her to think good always about people or let's say to start to think good about people before the negative part. Beloved brothers and sisters, like I was saying, it would be good of a Muslim or if a Muslim develops a character what type of character to be able to think good about people to start to think good about people don't make it your habit to always think negative you see a brother or a sister you declare them to be negative we can do better in terms of how we think about others beloved brothers and sisters very very important how Allah has made us in such a way that there are so many people, different types of people you meet on a daily basis. How do you talk to them? How do you interact with them? How do you think about them? Meaning, if you meet them, how do they see you? Who do they see you to be? As you live, do they feel that you have impacted in their lives in a positive way? If the answer is no, then we need to improve. Beloved brothers and sisters, it is a duty upon us. That is why Allah has made us so different, meaning different in so many ways. In the cultures we have, we are different. You know, the, the places we live, we are different. The way we speak, we are different. Uh, the way we eat, perhaps what we eat, different. You know, how we dress, different. How we speak, different. And how we do so many things different ya ayyuhan nasu inna khalaqnakum min dhakarin wa untha wa ja'alnakum shu'uban wa qaba'ila lita'arafu inna akramakum indallahi atqakum Inna Allah alimun khabir. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says O oh people Indeed we have made you From the male and female We have created you from the male and female And we have made you into tribes And nations So that you can know one another or so that you can interact with one another 
Then Allah says, The most noble in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the most righteous from among you. That is, that is what Allah says. And then Allah says, Indeed, he is acquainted with what you do. Beloved brothers and sisters, from this verse we learn that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants from us that we learn how to live with one another. We learn how to develop good character and conduct in such a way that people whom we live with they they are happy living with us they see the character that is meant to be seen from a muslim so beloved brothers and sisters really we should try to improve we ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless us assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh